The tuning of signal delays in various interfaces is a rather crucial stage that directly affects the correct operation of the device. When inputting signal delay into your design tool, you need to ask yourself, did you take into account the signal delays inside the microcircuit itself? If you study the structure of microcircuits, you can see that the contact pads are soldered with wires directly to the crystal. The lengths of the connections of the pads to the crystal can differ significantly from each other, which can introduce a noticeable mismatch in the signals. This is especially crucial at frequencies above 500 MHz. This delay is called pin package delay and must be taken into account when tuning signals of some types of microcircuits, such as FPGAs or microcontrollers. Responsible manufacturers provide information on the delay inside the chip in the IBIS models for their microcircuits. Also, delays can be obtained from third-party FPGA development environments, such as Quartus and Vivado. Most often, delay values are specified in picoseconds. Depending on the type of microcircuits in the manufacturer, the spread can be up to tens of picoseconds. Altium Designer allows these values to be added to the properties of the symbol pins or footprint pads, after which, this delay will be taken into account when tuning the signals. The best approach when adding this delay is to add it at the library component level. We can do this by adding delay values in the properties of the symbol pins. For group editing, you can use the Find Similar Objects command and select all the pins of this component. It's convenient to carry out group editing of properties in the schematic library list panel. To do this, be sure to switch to Edit Mode. Information about delays from the IBIS model can be copied into a spreadsheet, adjusted, and then the values can be copied directly into Altium Designer. In the Schematic Lib List panel, it's important to check the pin order before inserting. It's recommended to sort the pins by designator so that their order matches the order of the IBIS model. After that, insert the delay values into the appropriate column. These values will now be stored with the symbol in the library and will be transferred to the pad properties when the board is updated from the schematic. If for some reason you don't have access to the symbol library, then in a similar way, you can add a delay to the pads of the footprint. Similar to before, in the PCB lib list, you'll need to switch to edit mode, sort the pads by designator, and insert the values into the appropriate column. Let's save the library, update the given footprint, and see how much delay in the chips affects our tuned data bus. In the PCB panel, we can already notice a violation of the allowable delay mismatch for some signals. In the properties of the pads, we will see the values updated from the library. Now, when calculating the delay time, in addition to the conductor itself, the pin package delay values specified in the pads of each of the microcircuits will be taken into account. Therefore, before aligning high-speed signals, it's best to set the pin package delay first.